でででででで,で,で,で,で<笑> Happy days, my fantastic artistic friends. It's me, Master Temple. We're going to do a nice painting, a nice landscape painting. This is for my brother and his wife to be. We're getting married very, very soon. And this is the wedding venue. I've got a blue prep canvas up there. We're going to get out his oil paints and do a nice little painting. So before I bring you up to the canvas, please remember to like the video and subscribe. If you haven't done so already, happy, happy days. Dee, 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 dee. Right, folks, I've got a blue canvas here. It's just acrylic painted blue allowed to dry. I've sketched on a little manor house and we're going to paint that little manor house as well. Up in the sky, I've put a mixture of linseed oil and titanium white. So I'm going to work on the sky now, oil paints. Now on the palette, all you can see is three colours, white, Prussian blue and cad orange. I'm going to take a little bit of the cad orange and a little bit of blue, maybe a bit more orange, and then go into the white. I'm only putting out some colours that I know I'm going to use, put my teeth back in. Okay, so that should be roughly the same colour as what we've got down there anyway, but when it hits the white, it will change colour. I want a nice... Happy sky, if we can say that, a nice little happy sky, yeah, uh, up here. And the yellow, sorry, the orange in the, the colour will interact with the blue and dilute it a little bit, make it not as vivid. Make it not as vivid. So we'll just float this little sky in, just there. We'll put a few little floatery clouds and some things. Remember, this is... A wedding venue so we want it nice and, and and warm without too much you know massive amount of heavy clouds that look like it's gonna rain and stuff so there we go this is actually a gift a gift for a very special pair of people so I've just thrown in a few loose clouds now you can see now we've taken a baby blue whitey color for the top of the cloud and a little bit more orange in there and then we'd add a bit more blue just on the underside there and i've done that over on here i did it with a little fan brush i'll just show you another one just for good measure so so we'll just take some of this color it's got a bit of blue in it and as soon as it touches the canvas it'll get some blue in okay i don't want a massive one in fact we'll work on this one here just put a little bit of something there make it a little bit bit bigger okay and then we'll go into the orangey colours okay just a little bit add a few orangey internally colours of the cloud don't have to go too crazy okay and then just into the blue mix there and that'll darken it off some more maybe a bit too much blue on that if that happens just grab a bit more orange and flow it in yeah that's it that's it so just tease that in and move it about I'm gonna have a big tree coming over here so these are just little clouds that are just gonna set the tone okay a few wispy things down here now when we've got this sort of done we're gonna take a blender brush okay now you use any kind you've got I like this it's nice and soft really soft delicate air and we're gonna I'll go on to this one start just by teasing the dark and the mid-tone cloudy colour together. Just tease it, soften it. Soften it actually into the sky as well. Leave the top end of the cloud, leave the top part, okay? And if it's too if it's too bold in its colour, just keep going. It'll, it'll go with that white that's on already on the canvas, okay? And then when we get to the top part, flip the brush around where it's cleaner and drier, and then we'll just tease that in as well and we've got a soft subtle little cloud just there tease those in like so and same on this one okay so just delicately delicately float this in as you can see i've done some work on this side wing here um and we're focusing on the main manor house now but i want you to utilize the grain or the nap or the weave of the canvas so if you remember that there is a white gesso underneath, then we've coated it in a blue kind of acrylic paint, a blue gesso for, for figure of speech. Then 
we have painted it in several shades of different brickwork colours. Okay, and I really put it on and I really scraped it all off, rubbed it in, scraped it off. And you can see the nap or the weave coming through. Okay, the high points, we'll pick off the high points. Now, I want a really flexible knife for this next part, right? And this is how we get this kind of effect over here. Done a little bit on the roof, though we may darken it off in places. Uh, don't worry about any of this lot yet, okay? I've just put some colours in there just to, to uh, give us some layout. Okay, so we need to pick up some colour off the palette. And you need a very flexible knife. I find a very flexible knife for this. Just push the knife right into the palette. Okay, you can see most of the knife has got some kind of coating of paint on. Okay, and I'm going to start off here and I'm just going to really put some pressure on. There's no bead on the edge of the, the knife. There's no, no little roll of paint or anything like that. It's just a little thin layer of paint. And what it'll do is it'll pick up all the high spots on the canvas and give us some kind of little indications of house bricks and things like that. Now, if you get a line that's too strong like that, you can just rub it in with the point of the knife. Okay, a bit too much thick paint. Rub it in as well. Okay, and just keep doing this till you get a nice varied composition of different bricks. Remember, each house brick has its own unique quality. But trying to paint them all with a little one head brush will take absolute years. And I ain't got years to waste on a house. Building all house in that time, yeah? Okay, so just keep doing this till we get the colour, the desire and the effect we want. A bit more dark in there. Okay, I'm losing some of my pencil, but I know roughly where it is. That's okay. That's okay. And it... It might not look much now, but when you had the, the shadows under the under the sills there and the windows in, it all looked, wow, how have we painted all them stones in? Like that. So I think most of the legwork on the house, the manor house, is done now. All I'm doing is applying various shades of basically blues and yellows to make greens for the ivy that climb all the way up here. Now, if you notice, I've splayed the brush out, so I've dabbed it right into the palette and made the bristles stick apart. So when you touch on, or if I hit it head on like that, it gives lots of different little effects. And we'll just climb this ivy up. Lots of different colors. Of course, this is that far away, you won't see any individual leaf, but you'll just get various colors going on in here okay and change the color a little bit if it wants to be a bit darker just dab into the blues and the blacks and the browns and stuff like that if it wants to be a bit lighter get into the yellows and we'll creep this ivy all the way up the side of the house i think it could be a tad darker up there just just tap on like so it creeps up there again like that if it, it creeps into the skyline it doesn't matter <laughs> because it's an organic it's an organic thing isn't it ivy will grow anywhere trust me i know that it grows anywhere and you cannot cut it back there we go so with the house almost complete we're gonna have to have some uh, vegetation that really sets off the house really it pushes it back now don't worry about this hairy area we're gonna have a nice big bush or something like that but there is gonna be lots and lots of bushes and stuff to stop the canvas from vibrating right here in front of the manor so i'm just gonna lay out some some deep green some darker greens and stuff like that this is just an old filbert brush just nice and softly put it in and then we'll come back maybe highlight it shadow it things like that do we need any down there i think we're going to have a bit of something there but not too fussed just yet at that the main focal point is obviously the entrance way which leads us onto the path now i sketched out the path starts there and there 
but obviously I think I'm going to need it a lot tighter. Okay, I'm going to put some grass down here. So I'm just going to fill all this in with variants of colour. Different yellows, different greens, different browns and blues. We've got a path somewhere there. Though I, I haven't really chosen where the path will be. But we need to put some bits and pieces down here so we can make some decent grass. Okay, a bit more yellow. A, a little bit of blue will turn all this green anyway. So don't worry about that. Again, we're going to have a tree somewhere about there anyway. So, somewhere up there anyway. And something on this side as well. So we'll work on that in due course. But for now, just throw in thick amount of paint maybe get a bit of viridian throw that in there wow that's a that's an epic green color if i ever saw one psychedelic yeah maybe maybe a touch of blue <laughs> maybe not that much blue we'll thin it out with a bit of yellow but again just throw it in throw it in because we're going to mash it all together eventually so you can see I've put some basic path colour down there. We'll, we'll pull out some shadows as we need to in that shortly. But I've got an old fan brush there. And all I'm going to do is create grass. Okay, it's, it's pretty worn away this one. It makes pretty good grass though. So I'm just going to push up, push up, push up. Okay, and when I get a saturated brush, just wipe it with a lint free rag. Okay, and just move it down. Okay, take the colours, you can see lots of different colours there, we'll just take them in and out, and out and in, okay, just to create a nice little bit of grassiness down here, okay, when we get down to this part here, just for purposes of the demonstration, we'll push up a little bit more, and we'll, we'll go up there, we don't want it to look like reeds in a, uh, in a stream or something like that. Get rid of this paint, okay? And all oh, right, we might have ruined the grass a little bit, but look at how much oil paint is on there. We don't need it, okay? The stain as it is is in the canvas. We are not gonna shift that if we try. Well, even if we wash it with a little bit of oil or a little bit of paint in there, okay? It's still there, okay? Oh. Put a bit of thick paint on, let it set, wipe it all off, okay? Then let's take, I'm going to go into a bit of burnt umber. It's just the colour that I had in the brush, really, that I laid the path down with. I'm going to grab a bit of black as well. Just throw it in there, okay? And we can neaten up this. And we'll come back and neaten up the grass as well, okay? So we'll just put a few shadow things into... The path like that big broad strokes down near the base this path is very wide here very very narrow up there and that's what i am after and again if we put too much on we can always tease it out can't we you know put it on take it off yeah you know we know what to do folks we're coming to this point here and then it'll start to narrow and go behind this little hill. Now I don't think this hill is naturally there in the setting, but it, it needs something to push, push you down onto the path and that, and round into the focal point. If that, if that makes sense, or we'll just have one big flat meadow, okay? And that it'd be just one big flat colour. And I don't want that. I want this to be special. So with a soft little brush, I'm just putting in some some leaves. Now these are quite easy to to make it i've got this little uh it's actually one of my acrylic brushes but you just just little strokes little tiny strokes and what i want to do is encase the the, the manor house in so it's, it it kind of acts like a border really and i'll build up color i don't know if you can see on this side but i'll build up a bit of color as i'm going along and then then once i'm happy with it i'll add some sticks twigs I uh, don't re really want a massive trunk or anything like that. These are just the odd branches just creeping into shot, framing the path, framing the composition. So this is this is not very thin paint. It is 
one drop of of paint we've got a bit of blue there that's all right a bit of shadow in all right and i'm trying to trying to make them look a little bit iggledy piggledy so they're not all going in the same direction i'll come over this i might have to wipe that down um yeah uh, i'll i don't want them all going in the same direction so i'll make them go a little bit there and a little bit here okay maybe wants to come a bit further over there all right so i'll leave a bit of space in there so we can see the sky through the branch it might come down here i have to wipe that off or i'll just blend it in and just work on this we'll push that tree back you see now by doing so now we're just putting in the married couple and this is really kind of a hold your breath and go for it kind of you know time i'm just putting in a little bit of flesh color there mainly the back of my sister-in-law's head not to be sister-in-law, but by the time this video goes out, she will be my sister-in-law. There we go. And just build it up. Look at the shoulder. Now, I, I haven't seen the dress. So I'm only having a rough guess that it's going to be white. I hope it is now. <laughs> and we'll have an arm that comes down there and down there. Like that. I'll put some hair and then same with my brother my his head will be there unlike me he's got blonde hair whereas i've got almost black and crazier getting all paint on my hand here but it's worth it i want a bit of pink there maybe just down here where they're both holding hands I'll put a bit of something there just the indication like that now come back and i'll put some air on the married couple the happy couple and sort some shadows out in this some shoes some shadows and a little bit of something underneath there as well i take a little bit of titanium white and thin it out with a bit of linseed oil on this little liner brush and i've got a little bit of rose color there and i just fill the brush up okay i haven't thinned out any of that rose just a little bit of oil that i've mixed in with this white okay and then just take it through one slat side so i've basically double loaded the brush and that allows us to get some really nice neat little flowers like that and we'll just pop some of these nice bright colorful flowers down here in the foreground we want, we want reds and things like that obviously closer to us and, and blues as we go away from us there we go like so your little flowers down there and i think we have got a nice finished little painting well i've really enjoyed this one it means so much to me and so much to my new sister-in-law my brother if you've enjoyed this one like the video subscribe and remember to leave me a nice comment until next time take care you said stay safe happy days